So, got it. Score! You know, on the one hand, I'm glad it was in, but on the other hand, what kind of world do we live in where no one has rented Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? Well, we rented it. Well, thank God for us. Ooh, hey, I invited your friend over to watch it with us. What friend? Dean. What? Yeah, I told him what we were doing tonight, and he was totally into it. So, why are you looking at me like that? You invited Dean to our house. Yes. Are you crazy? Why are you mad? Because we haven't even been out on a date by ourselves yet. My first date with Dean is going to be with my mother. Are, what is wrong with you? I, I'm sorry. I thought you would be happy about this. In what universe would I be happy? This isn't Amish country. Girls and boys usually date alone. I don't think of it as a date. I thought of it more as a hanging out kind of session. Well, I don't want our first hanging out session to be with my mother either. Stop saying mother like that. Like what? Like there's supposed to be another word after it. I can't believe you did this. I'm so humiliated. What? You're totally overreacting. I invited him to a movie and pizza, not to Niagara Falls. He's the boy that I like. I know. I looked for one that you hated, but it was really short notice. And now he's forced to come over and sit with me and my mother and eat crap and watch a movie? Well, I just invited a friend of yours to hang out. What's the big deal? I mean, what if Lane had done it? You're not Lane. You're my mother. You inviting him over is like grandma inviting a guy you liked over. You're comparing me to my mother? No, I just... I'm Emily Gilmore now? My, how the mighty have fallen. I didn't mean that. I wasn't trying to humiliate you. I know. If I was Emily Gilmore, I'd be trying to humiliate you. I just... Look, I'm sorry, okay? I screwed up. I... I was trying to... Look, I'll go. I'll uninvite him. I'll tell him that it's canceled on account of I just found out that I'm my mother and I have to go into intensive therapy right now. No, you can't uninvite him. He'll think I wigged out or something. Well, then I'll just disappear and you guys can be alone. Oh, and have it look like my mom arranged a date for me? No. What do we do? He has to come. It won't be so bad, OK? Just pizza and a movie and hanging out. I promise you won't feel like your mother is there. OK. OK. You might, however, feel like my mother is there. Oh, well, okay. This is good. Add some cold cream and some curlers and let him know what he'll be coming home to every night. This was supposed to be a simple night. Watch movie, eat junk, go to bed feeling sick, end of story. Now I'm supposed to look pretty and girly, which is completely impossible because I'm gross and I have nothing to wear. Do you want some help? No. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do this and... All right, well. This says, hello, I'm hip and cute, but also relaxed, since this is something I just threw on, even though it looks fantastic on me. How'd you do that? What? I've been staring at that top for 20 minutes. It was just a top. You walk in, in three seconds, it's an outfit. It comes from years of experiencing fashion brain freeze just like the one you had. How do you do it? What? This whole guy thing. I mean, I've watched you when you talk to a man. You have a comeback for everything. You make him laugh. You smile right. I smile right? And then you do the little hair flip. Oh, twirl. It's a hair twirl. And then you walk away, and he just stands there, amazed, like he can't believe what just happened. That's because I just stole his wallet. I'll never be able to do that. Trig, I can do. But boys and dating, forget it. I'm a total spaz. Listen, the talking part, you just get used to. The hair twirl I can teach you. And the leaving him amazed part, with your brain and killer blue eyes, I'm not worried. You'll do fine. Just give yourself a little time to get there. Is half an hour enough? Plenty. Come on. Dab on some lip gloss, clear but fruity, maybe a little mascara. Wear your hair down and your attitude high. You're like a crazy Elsa clench. Oh, thank you. Come on now, hustle. We got a man coming over. 